all right guys i've made two ways to install mango hub the first way right now i'm doing do this way because this way works the second way doesn't work properly so let's just show you the first way this is how i install it just use the store and install mango hub i mean mango hub so once you're done you can install go overlay and try if it works for my testing it doesn't work so basically you can skip this go overlay is just a GUI for you to do your settings but you don't need it so here steam please don't use steam on this store because it's unstable use this way to install steam go to their website and install it then just go here click and run it then it will open the store but it is using the image of the web you can check out my other videos on different steps in installing apps so right now just follow this code to open this mango hud this is the template for your configurations so you just go into here home dot config and here create mango hud folder if you don't have in the dot config so once you've create just follow exactly as I do and open that folder and copy paste it that's it so now inside this you can change anything just remove the hashtag in order to allow it to display so now I want to allow temperature to be displayed so I just remove the hashtag and change the name just remove the example and then go into steam and add this code in this place for all games just add the code that's it then when you start to play it will use that configuration so you see you have temperature cpu gpu everything even on warframe you can see change the configuration on that so for hero use this flat pack on this make sure it's flat pack and not other thing or else it will not work so once you install heroic put in this code in this terminal in order for mango hard to work on this store make sure again it is flat hub choose number one or just choose the latest which in my case is number one then it will run that's it so here you basically go into heroic turn on this setting for mango hud this is basically whether you want to use wine or proton if you use wine it may check if it doesn't find it you just install it for you or it just change for you all right so that's quite simple straightforward for heroic it's quite nice gooey and easy to use so if you want to change just go into these settings and you can change wine into proton just click this drop down and you'll see that's proton okay so once the wine is installed you can see it opens and there is your counter so now i'll show you a nutris it's the same thing make sure you choose flat pack a uh, flat hub so here go into this and go into this setting after that turn on the fps mango hud so now you'll see over here you can also change this then you just start and it will work so as you can see the FPS counter is there to customize for heroic so first of all copy this mango hud, HUD from this dot config that you did before so 
this is for heroic all right go into dot var apps and then search for that heroic name go to config and paste it in it's basically the same thing all are the same you can also create a folder and create a text it's no issue i'm basically just making it easier just copy paste on it so all of these are without the hashtag before this you've seen with the te uh, without temperature now you see with temperature so if you want to change the counter to be on the right side then go and change this and then you'll see it's on the right side so it does work if you want to do it for lutris the same thing just go to dot var find for lutris right here the word lutris go to the config and paste in the mango hub that you created just now and that's it you can create manually again as i said you can create folder you can create the txt again for mango hut and it will work the same thing all right so you can see it does work now here's a second method which is doesn't work properly but that's a lot of people use this install the sudo update on terminal and then install this sudo apt show mango heart just to show you and then you install mango heart dash y so basically you just straight away install it for you this is from the web version then you go into the steam you can use the same method again this command on each of your games then you will be able to see on it okay so basically on steam it does work no issue okay and go overlay even i tried with or without the store if i install terminal or install from the store it's still the same basically it will not work so i'm not sure what's going on now for this again we use this code to open up this template for mango hud in this directory we'll do the same thing as previously go dot config in home and then create your folder and put in mango hud follow exactly as what i do and then open it and copy paste it in right quite simple do as i did before just go in remove the hashtag of whatever you want in my case is simple cpu temperature and gpu temperature and then rename without the example dot example we don't want dot example after that steam will follow it okay we will go to heroic and turn on the mango hud and then we'll go into the settings for the game itself and turn it on but it doesn't work so that's why i do not recommend this but i found a website on this I'm not going to test it out again because I've reinstalled this I think five times already so if you guys have tested it please comment below if you have if it is working for you all right so that part is for Lutris but Heroic has a built-in FPS counter so you don't really need yes I have installed mango hud from the terminal I've tried go overlay from the terminal doesn't work I've tried the Lutris from web installing doesn't work. I've tried Heroic from the web installation doesn't work. So all of this doesn't work. If you guys have a solution for this method, then please comment below whether does it work for you. 
Please like, subscribe and comment below is my previous videos, to the center is my other videos and to the side of it is my playlist for different topics in different playlists. You can check that out for my previous and future videos that is to come. So thank you all for watching, Famous Cyber Ramers, signing out.